Hello and welcome to Asiana News Dialogues. In today's dialogues, we have with us one of the most senior most leaders in India, Mr. Gulanavi Asad. He was in Congress earlier. He was integral part of Congress for decades. He is not in the Congress party now. He has written an autobiography named Asad, and it was published recently. So he will speak to us on this book as well as the current national political scenario. Thank you. So welcome. Thank you. Sri Asad Thank to you. this interview. Thank you. So in this book, you have given the title Asad. Yeah. So what is the reason for giving this title? Azad means independent. Okay. The literary meaning of Azad in Urdu means independent. So my thinking has been independent since I joined party. Okay. Uh, right from student life, because thinking has to be independent. I cannot be influenced by any individual, any leader, any person as far my thinking is concerned. Yeah. Which is why my, I have my pen name, name is also Azad, Lamnavi Azad. Yeah. And my party's new party's name is also Democratic, uh, Progressive, Demo Azad Democratic party. Progressive Azad Party. Yes. So I am independent. Yeah. My party is independent, yeah. my book is independent, and it is very objective. I have not been, I have been totally impartial while writing the book. Okay. I am not partial at all. Okay. I might have praised a particular leader in one paragraph and when he or she might have done a great job okay. for the country or for the party, okay. but in the same uh, paragraph or maybe the uh, another paragraph or in another chapter while he or she the leader who I have praised earlier might have gone wrong somewhere while keeping the interest of the country or the party I have very objectively said that this should have not been done here he or she has gone wrong. So you are feeling much Azad today, after leaving the Congress well, side? No, well, I was uh, Azad even earlier, mm. but uh, today I feel happy in the sense, mm. while being in the Congress, particularly the later part okay. of, you know, uh, about since four, five, five, six years, yeah. I used to get acidity and hyperacidity okay. because the suggestions we were given, giving the party leadership individually, collectively, and those suggestions were totally ignored and neglected. Yeah. Then I would get acidity because I was thinking that this can be done, that can be done if this would have been agreed upon. We would have won so many more seats in the parliament. We won, would have won so many states okay. uh, for the Congress. Okay. But on every occasion, the leadership would fail us. Okay. And they will have only uh, their say, and they will not listen to seniors, leaders, are those who have been working in the party for decades. So always that, I, that feeling that, haunted you. Yeah, yeah, and no, and that would give me acidity and super acidity. Yes, yes. Because thinking, yeah. and you cannot do anything. Yeah, yeah. And then you were feeling that this can be done. We are going wrong, mm. wrong. We are doing suicide. And now today, I feel happy in the sense, while I don't feel very happy that the Congress is uh, going down the drain, mm. Unfortunately, because of the folly of some half a dozen people, okay. those who are not interested in running the affairs, mm -hmm. or those who are not uh, interested in the future of the Congress, they are only interested in their own projection yeah. huh? in the media or public. But they hardly care about uh, the 
a Congress party, whether a Congress party should grow or not. Okay. But we, our interest, those senior people who may not uh, say anything because they supported me to a certain extent. Okay. But then they could not go, go beyond that. Okay. But I could not tolerate. Okay. My friends, some few, they can reconcile. Okay. But I could not reconcile. Okay. But I think everybody was of the opinion that the ongoings in the Congress party are not in the interest of the party. Okay. Let me also ask a question of, about a recent development. Mr. Anil K. Anjani recently develop, uh, joined the BJP. So how do you see this development? Well, this is most unfortunate. Mm. This is most unfortunate. The younger generation mm. in the Congress is ten times more f frustrated mm. because of the leadership than the elderly people like me. Mm. If you see, most of the young leaders who are 35, 40, 45, below 45, or below 50, have left the Congress. Mm. You see, mm, Mr. Sindhya, mm. most bright person mm. from an illustrious family, was a minister, bright minister, had to go because he was not made PCC president. He was denied even parliament membership. Mm. Ultimately, he left. Mm. Mm. Jitin Prasad, who was also Minister of State in UPA too, mm. hardly 40, 42 years old, mm. had to go. Joined BGP, now he's minister there. RPN Singh, he was also Minister of State for whom? Government of India, yeah. Rahul Gandhi team, mm. had to leave. There are so many people, Sushmita Dev, whose uh, uh, father was minister during Rajiv Gandhi's time, subsequent, uh, subsequently in Rao Sa's time, she was elected MP twice, Lok Sabha. She was Mahila Congress president, hardly in 40s. She also left, joined TMC, became MP from there. So you see, there are few yeah. dozen young very talented, mm. the Hardik Patel. He was in 20s mm. from Gujarat. Gujarat yeah. He again joined. There was another leader from Gujarat who was also in early 30s, mm -hmm. elected. He also left. So there is no question of one or two. From each state, I can count at least four, five dozen of leaders, and most of them they were Rahul Gandhi team who have left okay. because the lack of leadership and lack of direction from Mr. Rahul Gandhi. When Mr. Anil K. Anil left, he said that BJP is the only party having a national agenda. Do you agree to that? No, but that is his own low outlook. Mm -hmm. But I can only say because who has made the BJP only party? The present Congress leadership by sitting like a duck and not doing anything, rather doing all those things which will help BJP. So, it is the present leadership of the Congress which is promoting BJP. BJP is also trying to woo the minorities. I think yes, they, they are reaching out to Christians and they also are they are reaching out to some sections of the Muslims. Yeah, How do they, you see this uh, they, activity? You know, naturally, you know, in Congress party, years back, during Indira Gandhi's time, whenever I have accompanied Mrs. Indira Gandhi as Youth Congress President, National Youth Congress President, I have accompanied Mrs. Indira Gandhi as Minister, Junior Minister. So wherever she would go in the country, she would say, Muslim, uh, Muslims are poor, Assis are poor. Mm. We have to make programs for them. Mm. Subsequently, years later, the Congress leaders dropped the name of Muslim in utterances in public. Mm. They will say, the minorities, we have to make the program for minorities. Mm. 
and the present leadership would never use the word minorities. Mm -hmm. They would say, S E S T and backward, Finnish minorities. But policies of BJP, do you think uh, they are supporting minorities? No, or no, no. policies are not supporting. Mm -hmm. I, to I totally agree. Mm -hmm. The policies, this Muslim Morcha, extra, they may uh, uh, be making a lot of a hue and cry, mm -hmm. but policies in general are not helping the minorities as a whole. I'm not talking Muslim, minorities as a whole. You are praising Mr. Narendra Modi in the book. Uh, if I can quote from your book, you are saying that I found Modi to be a great listener. Not even once did he rebut my arguments or speak that, against that's, me, that's you are saying. There is a, there's a record, mm -hmm. there is a parliamentary record. Okay. I cannot uh, meddle with the parliamentary record. I have been seven years uh, 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 Raja Sabha leader of Ocean. In seven years, I didn't behave well with the Prime Minister, I must admit, and I'm very sorry for that. Mm. I'm extremely for sorry for that. He, the invitation from him came few dozen times. Okay. As and when he would hold dinner for presidents, prime ministers, visiting presidents and prime ministers at his residence or office, and I didn't attend even a single one. Okay. Though invitation was everywhere, every time. Even two, three times he reminded me, personally in the parliament, inside the parliament, I hope this time you are coming. But yet I did not do. Okay. Seven years as leader of opposition, he told me a number of times, let us have a cup of tea in my room in the parliament. I never went. Okay. So this type of behavior and conduct on my part with the Prime Minister was unbe unbecoming. I must admit that. And then inside the Parliament, I must have spoken face to face against his policies. I personally, I don't, I never speak against the person, okay. individual personality or this type of you are corrupt and you are like that, that I never saw. Okay. That I never speak uh, right from my student life. That is not in my blood. But I would take left and right the pri Honorable Prime Minister for the performance of the government on the floor. So in spite of this rude behavior on my part for seven years, I was expecting the, in the farewell speech he will take me left and right there. There was a more uncouth leader of opposition, uh, uncultured leader of opposition who did this, this, this. But he turned out to be a different person. He turned out to be a statesman. Okay. Should, I, should I not acknowledge this? Yeah. Having said about my behavior for seven years yeah. and in turn, to that. So but that doesn't mean your approval for his politics? No, no. I, I, have, I have said hmm. we have different ideology. Yeah. I don't, I don't agree with that. I agree the polarization in the country has increased. I agree with that. But I have said, well, while one face, the Prime Minister has one face, which the people are talking of, but the Prime Minister has another face also that when he wants to be, he can turn out to be a good statesman also. Okay. I saw a tweet from Mr. Rahul Gandhi mentioning your name and associating with the Adani and all. So how do you feel after seeing that tweet? It is shame. Rahul Gandhi saying, I have never any association with any businessman. Whereas their entire family held all along the association with businessmen, including him. I still want, because I have a great respect, I have a great respect for the family. I don't want to speak anything. Otherwise, I can give 10 examples where, where he, would, he would go and meet, even outside the country, to meet even people who are undesirable businessmen. Actually, after the Bharat Jodo Yatra, everyone uh, thought that uh, Rahul Gandhi has uh, got more energy. 
and he is uh, energizing the party, etc. The uh, question is more energy. It is not that Kushti, I don't know which America has. What is that? Mm. The wrestling. wrestling. Mm. It is not a wrestling kale. Mm. It is a mind. Mm. For that you don't need wrestling. A lot of people say that his clout has increased. I was also thinking. Mm. I was also under that impression like uh, most of the countrymen are. Okay. That after Yatra, his clout, his respect among the people have increased. But during the past mm. 10 days, I see it that he has got zero. Mm -hmm. Then I am comparing why. In 78, I think it was December, when Mrs. Gandhi was dismembered and jailed. Within few hours, more than one lakh people across the country went to jail. Ten lakh people, because I, I was youth congress, general secretary at the national level. Ten lakh people were waiting outside the jails mm -hmm. because there was no place inside the jails. Mm -hmm. I myself went to straight from the parliament mm -hmm. when she was taken from the jail. Okay. I went straight to Jama Masjid mm -hmm. and telephoned to one district president and I am coming that you arrange the position. Mm -hmm. Within 15 Minutes, he had put the mic, Lanvi Azad is coming, we have to go protest before parliament. 10,000 people were there. Okay. And 10,000 people accompanying me went towards the parliament. Of course, we were in between arrested and sent to Tihar jail. Mm -hmm. So, and I remained in the Tihar jail for one, uh, till the January and next year, mm -hmm. 79. The question is, when Indira Gandhi was dismembered in jail, and lakhs of people went to the streets, lakhs of people went to the jail. Now, Rahul Gandhi, immediately after this Yatra, is dismembered in jail. Not a mosquito has cried. Not a mosquito has come in the rear, on the road, forget the jail. He had to go to Surat uh, court. And who ha he had to take? He had to take working committee members from Delhi, he had to take MPs from Delhi, he had to take MLAs from Gujarat. Not a single individual, Kisan or youth from the Gujarat even participate. So, so what type of support he has got? Mm -hmm. So do you think he is misguided by a group of persons around him or...? Uh... No, he is misguided himself. Okay. <laughs> he misguides himself. Why should anybody need? Person is misguided, the one who himself is directionless. We have done 50 years politics. Why were we not misguided? Okay. Why was his dadi were not misguided? Why was not Sonia Gandhi misguided? Why was not Raju Gandhi misguided? Why was not uh, Rahul Gandhi misguided? Why was not Pandit Nehru misguided? Why is being misguided? Because you, when once you have you you yourself are directionless, then anybody will take advantage. Oh, he doesn't know anything. You tell him anything, he will do that. So there are many parties which are coming together. Mainly 20 opposition parties came together in the parliament. Do you think there's a possibility for a national alliance against Mr. Modi in the next elections? Well, if it takes place, very good. Mm. Good luck to all of them. <laughs> Will you play any part in that alliance? No, I, have not, I don't have any role. Hmm. My party is just newborn party, party and I, I have to concentrate on that. Hmm. You are mentioning about the Kamaraj plan also in the I book. And you say that uh, this uh, created the high command culture in the Congress. Why no. do you think that created a high command culture? No, because there's one chapter hmm. in which I have written the downfall of the uh, Congress party. Mm -hmm. While I was student in sixth class, and in our time, the sixth class in Jammu Kashmir was a board examination. Yeah, that's right. There was a board examination. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the board examination, one of the questions in the annual 
examination was the downfall of Mughal Empire. Okay. And the history there were mentioned, uh, which was being taught to us, the history book. Mm -hmm. There were 13 points for the downfall of the Mughal Empire. Okay. Ever since when I joined politics, active politics, and the more I grew in the politics, I was seeing that the similarity of the downfall of the Congress party is that like that of Mughal Empire. Okay. So I started from Nehruji's time, okay. that what erosion took place, Indraji's time, Rajiji's time, and subsequently Uri period time, and we ultimately okay. in 2014 we fell. Okay. Huh? Okay. Huh? But the falling started, downfall started right few decades back because no party will fall in just one day and one year. It, and the erosion takes place over a period of time. Maybe small erosion, then small, then small, then ultimately big, 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 big. The smaller the leader come, the more fall of the Congress party, the bigger is the leader were there who could bear the shock. The big leaders, Indra Gandhi, Nehru, they could bear the shock. Of course, it was falling. Sometimes they being responsible and sometimes the circumstances being there. But it was falling. But they were too big a leader who could, they were shock proof. They could bear those shocks. But now when the leaders are too small, huh, who cannot get themselves elected, they cannot bear the shock. So are you suggesting that there is no way you are returning to the Congress? Oh, no way. Hmm? Because where is the Congress now? Hmm. There is no Congress left. There are some individuals left. And some states are there only not because of the Congress party, because of their own personal leadership. So are you suggesting finally that there is no chance for Congress in the 2024 elections? I am not suggesting that at all. Hmm. Why should I suggest? Hmm. Uh, why should I still? wish Congress party to grow, but my wishing alone is not going to help. The Congress leadership does not wish. Okay. They don't wish. Because they may say we wish, but in politics wishing does not help. Doing helps. So they are sitting like a duck, just giving press conference every day, abusing Modi, Adani, or people like us, and they think, now we'll get vote. That doesn't go well. That doesn't give me a vote. Anyhow, you have a very beautiful lawn like Kashmir. And thank you very much for an interview in this lawn. Thank you very much, Thank, you. thank you for this thank interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you. Thank you. प्रस्तुति नोड़ी ऐशिया नेवर्ण न्यूज